Hey everybody, it's your old pal Robert from ThrillRight.com. How you doing? So tonight, I'm out at the LA Zoo, but I'm not here to see any animals. I'm here to see a lot of pretty lights. Uh, this is uh, an event here called LA Zoo Lights, and it runs from November until I think January 9th of 2022. So still a little time to check this out, but uh, apparently they do this annual light exhibit for the uh, end of the year holidays, and I've never seen it before. So really looking forward to going inside and uh, enjoying some uh, scenic splendor. So let's go check it out. Yeah, palm trees are not the, uh, the most obvious choice for Christmas, but they've done a pretty fair job of giving these palm trees a very Christmassy feel out here. I like it. Well, there you go, right in the front gate. Look at this uh, beautiful display here. And I like the, uh, the graphic animals represented around the, the base of the tree. Very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the barrel of monkey monkey up there. Yeah, All right, heading up into this uh, kind of uh, more subtly illuminated trail. And I love these kind of glowing orbs and the, uh, <laughs> the projected green sparkly lights all over the, the ground and the trees. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the alligators are great. That is really neat. Yeah, this is really very popular. I can see why. I love it. Funny, I haven't been to the zoo in so long, I don't remember the layout at all. So, kind of rediscovering the zoo proper. As well as enjoying the lights. I gotta come back and see it during the day. I think I've seen the animals here since I was a, a kid. Uh, merry, merry, jolly, jolly. Oh, and I love this uh, kind of dimensional alligator light structure up here. It almost looks like it's a little, it's made out of stained glass. Oh, it's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, light is uh, it's pretty magical. It, uh, it really transforms an environment so incredibly. And I love the big uh, candy cane trees over here. So great. Yeah. And I can just hang out here all night. This is great. I, tell you, I think I love these animal uh, light forms as much as the uh, kind of traditional sparkly tree lights. Really neat. Down there. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I do like that they have the little follow me gecko to lead you through to the different environments. Really cool. Oh, yeah. We got a section here called the Holiday Village. Neat. And right alongside on the way in is this uh, rose garden. With the uh, white illuminated roses. Oh, yeah. I love these strings of green lights hanging down. It's pretty cute. They have a little photo up here with some artificial snow falling. And I hear people squealing. Apparently it's, uh, it's pretty effective as fake snow. <laughs> mm, that's cute. So it's pretty great. They have this cute little uh, Santa's cabin photo op where people can uh, pile into a sled, get their uh, photo taken together. Really charming. And then of course, uh, scattered throughout are all kinds of different food and beverage options some cocktails for the adults and churros and hot chocolate for the kids. Big line for the churro and hot chocolate, for sure. This is the great thing about coming to see this light display at the zoo. 
that you get this whole extra layer of uh, animals in the uh, light display. Well. That's a unique spin to the kind of traditional festive illuminations. Yeah, you just right. <laughs> Well, here's a special display that I know my good friend Deanna would enjoy, being that it is flamingo centric. So this one's for you, Deanna. <laughs> I like this is a real variety of different kinds of uh, illuminations, including this uh, kind of uh, neon looking thing. And I love the way the light, or the color of the light rather, kind of flows through and changes. That's really neat. Yeah, the spider web is pretty, uh, pretty spectacular. A little bonus. Halloween content here at this holiday celebration. <laughs> oh, this is great. We are now entering the disco ball forest. <laughs> a lot of cool uh, lights spinning around on the ground and the rest of the environment. Oh, this is great. <laughs> you know, we, we complain about disco. I don't. I actually love disco. But even if you don't like the music, it gave us the disco ball. That is a part of our culture. We uh, we simply can't we can't deny. It. I'll tell you, walking through this kind of an environment, it makes me wish we had year-round kind of light parks, <laughs> kind of these uh, illuminated sculpture gardens that would kind of exist all the time. I'd love to come and hang out at a place like this. Uh, on a random evening. And the great thing about Southern California is most nights are pretty uh, are pretty okay for hanging out and enjoying uh, an after dark show. I like these lanterns up here in this tree. They have a vaguely Asian sort of flavor to them. And yet not. Yeah. It's a unique kind of decoration. I like it. Funny, this is one of the animal enclosures, and they put this uh, cool kind of light screen up in the back there. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I'll tell you, when they uh, debuted that new light package that they added to the outside of Spaceship Earth in Epcot down at the Walt Disney World Resort, I, tell you, I almost cried. It is such a stunning transformation. And a reminder again to me how important lighting is to uh, creating a mood and an atmosphere. It's, uh, it's just fantastic. Of course, all the animal exhibits are closed, save for what looks like this one called the Lair. And you can see a line to get in here, and apparently there are, you know, snakes and that sort of thing. But I was told tarantulas as well, and I'm not 100% sure I'm quite up for that, but I don't know, maybe. Let's <laughs> see if the line gets short. <laughs> yeah, just when you think you've seen it all, there's another uh, a pathway to a whole other area. And more amazing lights. No, no, no. You're on and on. And I didn't realize the LA Zoo had a carousel. And of course they do, and it is beautifully lit up. Nice. Well, it looks like the carousel is closed for the evening. Too bad. I'll try to catch that one next time. But uh, it's only three bucks for all. Good deal. Yeah, the animals uh, really uh, make this a unique kind of holiday light celebration. Very fun. Look at this. Run around a corner finding another whole kind of beautifully lit section. Wow. Oh, fantastic. There is an idea. It's right over there. And I'll say it again. I wish there were uh, parks that kept up this kind of illumination year-round. It just makes you feel good. It's really pleasant and happy. <laughs> and it adds that literal sparkle to the world. Just awesome. 
Well, sure enough, there's a fair amount of uh, copyright music playing here, so we're going to uh, we're going to share some of the highlights with a little uh, custom score. So please enjoy. Look at that, even Spider-Man made it. Hey, Spider-Man. All right, I think that is going to bring this one to a close. So thanks for coming along. And happy holidays, everybody. Let's all hope for a much better 2022. Feeling optimistic, that's what we'll have. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. All right, take care. And we will catch you in the next one.